Hello and welcome back to the Analog Wonderland YouTube channel. My name's Amy, I'm the Community and Content Marketing Manager at Analog Wonderland. And today I'm joined by Andy from Kodak Alaris. Hello. Hello. <laughs> nice to be here again. So today we're focusing on the black and white emulsion that is Kodak Triax. Whether you are new to film photography or a long-time analog enthusiast, our channel covers all things film, from tips and tricks, film reviews, to how-to videos. Subscribe now and keep those notifications turned on so that you never miss a beat. Happy shooting. There we go. Mm -hmm. Are you a fan, Andy? Massive fan, Andy film, uh, my words. Uh, it is the oldest film available today on the market. Okay. The, the formula has changed a little bit, but really it's indistinct changes from what it used to be. Yeah. Um, it provides a really nicely contrasty, um, slightly grainy film that gives a very traditional look and feel. Mm -hmm. It's an exceptional look and feel, I think. Yeah, it's yeah. a fun favourite of some of the old photojournalists as well, isn't it? Oh, definitely, yeah. 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 And so, yeah if you if you step back sort of thirty years, forty, fifty years, so many of the images that were taken, the newspapers, the magazines, mm -hmm. photojournalism, all of them, pretty well most of them, were on trikes. Yeah. Uh, in that time, and, and it's the same film today, and so you can sort of very easily get a very old school feel just walking out today mm -hmm. and, and uh, shooting this film. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And it's interesting mm. that not many people have heard about it or have shot it themselves. Yes. So yeah. that's why things like this are so important to absolutely, yeah. raise awareness. Yeah. <laughs> last time we were here, mm -hmm. our last competition in the summer was Portrait 160. Yeah. Which, <clears> again, we had <throat> a lot of um, submissions. Really good competition. Lots of good quality photos. Yeah, good and, variety. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, that was, that was good fun. So when we go again this time, black yeah. and white, don't we? <laughs> yeah, so, a little yeah. bit different yeah. this time. We had a massive amount of submissions. I think it was around 750. Mm -hmm. um, so Andy always has the tough job of judging those. <laughs> yeah, it, it does take a while to, to look at everyone, not just sort of flick through, but actually look at everyone in detail yeah. and then go back and look at them again and then get a shortlist and then, exactly. then get the shortlist in some, some order. Because, you, you, like I said, you get so many good images and you really want to be sure about what you're picking mm -hmm. and why. So um, it does take a bit of time, but it's worth doing, I think. The ones we've got in front of us today are amazing. It's mm -hmm. such a good variety. Mm -hmm. Every shot's different, uh, mm -hmm. different subjects, different topics. So, yeah, it's yeah. good to see. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, and we really, as you say, we've got a complete range of styles. So, yeah, yeah and exactly. That's, I try to do that, we try not to get all portraits or all landscapes, but put a mix of everything mm -hmm. in, so. So Kodak Triax, we've got a few different formats. We've got the 35mm, uh, 120 medium format, and the 4x5 large format. And we've got some nice decorations mm -hmm. behind us as well that you can see. We invited everyone to pick their format of their choice in Triax. Um, we've had some really great deals as well along mm -hmm. the period of the competition. So I suppose let's get cracking then. Yeah, starting at tw <laughs> number 20 and um, yeah. yeah, go from we'll there. Go from there. Right, so let's start <clears throat> with number 20 and it is this one. Ta-da! Yes. Now this was shot by Francesco Vieri. Yeah. Probably yeah. pronounced that yeah. wrong, but um, <laughs> there yeah. we go. What so do you think? It caught my eye. I think just the, the quality of the image, uh, sort of graininess, it's very abstract. There's something sort of dark about the steps going into the water at that angle. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a, a hidden... ominous. It's an ominous, a hidden fear that sort of overwhelms you almost. It stood out to me. It's, it's got like the stri slight abstract feel of it. Uh, it's not an everyday sort of subject to photograph, yeah. but uh, I thought it looked really good. Yeah, I agree. It's mm. it's one of those ones where you think, oh, like what's what's lurking in the water? Mm. Really simple, but striking. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, so well done. That was number 20. Thank you. And number 19. And it is this one. Yeah, this one was captured by Nick Sayers. Mm -hmm. All sort of, yeah, a, a rock style yeah. photograph. <laughs> uh, I like having the border of the the uh, print of the mm -hmm. film around on the print as well. And there's evidence that we know it's we, definitely so we shot do, on Kodak yeah, yeah, well they can do an awful lot of things in different ways these days. That's but true. it's um, yeah, a really nice, well taken image, um, taken live. Um, I'm not sure how they managed to do the background, um, whether that's projected onto something or capturing it is oh, amazing. Yeah, it sort absolutely. of uh, I mean, being able to see it and hold framing. it and that, yeah, is, is really good. 
Um, and it's just got that old feel about it again. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, the contrast is really nice on it. There's not much light bouncing around, but then that uh, projection behind it, mm -hmm. is, um, it's not easy, the balance of the lighting and everything else. So yeah, exactly. uh, it's done really well. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Um, I used to shoot music um, images like this, mm. gigs and stuff. So mm. yeah, it definitely stands out to me as well. It's a nice, nice framing. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Mm. The background's good and yeah it's a lot of yeah. emotion. I'm guessing it was set up because the angle because usually if you do a gig you, you're down by yeah, their toes or something. it's so. true or there was oh. a telephoto lens had a good zoom Yeah on maybe there. yeah 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 which is even harder with movement <laughs> and things like that. So, it is yeah, yeah. yeah it is. Mm. So yeah well done Nick thank you. Okay number 18 and this one was captured by Trevor McIntyre. Yeah really simple um, obviously you come across a wheel buried in you know, by the sea or somewhere by a riverbank or something and um, had the forethought to uh, to photograph it, but slight abstract feel, mm -hmm. um, but really well taken, really good quality. I like the the contrast of it yeah. uh, and the detail that is captured as well. Mm -hmm. So and um, yeah, so just it, quite a nice image, I thought. Yeah, it's good. There's a lot of detail, um, but again, simple. Simple is almost always best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you could see that on the wall somewhere, couldn't you? It's just, yeah, uh, absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, it's a nice yeah. nice print. It's mm -hmm. nice to see it like this. All right, thank you. Next up, we've got number 17. That is taken <clears throat> by Peter Mead. Yeah, really nice photo. Again, I love yeah, the trees and the birds. It looks like it's a multiple exposure where mm. they've got different. Yeah, it does. Different, so, and I'm guessing because of the way the density changes through it, that that's how it's done. But, um, but then again, it might not be as well. So mm. it is really difficult to be sure, but it does look like it is, but really effective the way it's done. Yeah, it's a beautiful scene, like all the different layers, the mist. Again, really simple, but really well captured. Yeah. It's one of those ones that I feel like I've seen like on a drive to work mm. and I'm like, oh, I wish I could come on me. Yeah. Thank you, Peter. To number 16. <clears throat> and this was captured by Carenza Morris. Yeah. I love yeah. this one. <laughs> so, this, is, this is just a fun one, isn't it? So it's like, do you want to be in my game? And someone <laughs> does, but it looks at it. Yeah. So, some, obviously someone had some fun setting this up, but vision yeah. is perfect. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, just a, a good, fun, well taken image. Mm -hmm. I think. And it's it's yeah, it's hard to do working with pets, so getting <laughs> that so, perfectly yeah. lined up was <laughs> quite incredible. Yeah, all um, four of them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, so it's a really really sweet shot. Yeah, thank you. Right, next up we've got number fifteen. Mm -hmm. This is a lovely portrait captured by Paul Fuller. Mm. And I know someone called Paul Fuller, but probably not this Paul Fuller. Oh, okay. And it, that <laughs> that um, guy looks someone a lot like someone I know as well who plays my football team. Oh, that's but quite it's strange. Not. So, um, <laughs> but it's well, in general, it's a it's just a really powerful portrait, really distinct. Yeah. The contrast is strong. The imagery is strong. So it looked really good. Yeah. yeah, it's a great image. I think he said in his comments as well that it was just a fleeting moment that mm. he saw him stepping out of the doorstep and asked to take his portrait. So wow, yeah, it's one of those things that it pays off mm. when you when you ask. And it's, there's a lot of detail in there, but in all the right places as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good contrast in the mm. black and whites as well. Yeah, really yeah. nice. Really good image. Yeah, yeah lovely. Mm. Thank you. Okay, on to number fourteen. And um, this one was captured by Andrew Clark. Love the contrast, love the, the, the austerity in it and uh, the coldness, that sort of bleak surrounding, but it, it's mm. it just it's really nice to look at as well. In the foreground and the, and the bush are really well in focus. Mm -hmm. Smaller tree to the side again is in focus and then less in focus of the background, but just a nice image of all. Yeah, it's really nice to see snow as well. Yeah. Snow on black and white. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's beautiful. Yeah, thank you, Andrew. Number 13, this one was captured by Adam Spencer Young. Yeah, um, great image, great portrait, losing character. Mm. Um, and it, again, the contrast is already high. The, the um, highlights are really, really bright. Mm -hmm. uh, Dano's in there as well. It's got a whole range of densities, yeah. I think. Uh, and the way that the focal length is really good again. So, yeah. And the yeah. frame is very good. So, it looks really good. Yeah. yeah, it's really good focusing as well. It's mm. very clear, good clarity on the image, mm. print on print as well. Um, yeah, really nice mm. shot, really nice portrait. Yeah, well done. Number 12. This one was captured by Nigel Kell. Yeah, really good. Absolutely love it. I love this sort of scenery vibe. Um, yeah, which is, I thought it's, it's got a certain mood and feel to mm. it. But the fact that it's a silhouette in the main is yeah. just, it kind of makes it really. 
and again the sort of the framing the amount of the image that's uh, silhouetted versus the amount that's on show mm -hmm. it's just done really well um, i wonder if this was pushed at all mm. if it's quite dark yeah whether it was box mm. speed or mm. Master. But really good, and the, the grain really suits it as well. Yeah, so it goes it from like complete black into sort of the grainy sort of mm -hmm. lower densities. And um, yeah. but yeah, really good. Yeah, it's a lovely picture. Yeah, well done. Mm. Okay, so our next image, number eleven. This one was captured by Boxio. Yeah. So um, it's a different. It's quite different, isn't it? I really like it. Yeah. So it looks like multiple exposure, but I think it's a, it's uh, a filter. filter. Yeah, yeah, making an abstract shot. But in which you can see how it's so regular, that makes a lot mm -hmm. of sense. So um, yeah, really good, really clever. Take a sort of fountain like that and mm. to, to photograph it with that specific lens on. Exactly. Is, uh, yeah, really good. Yeah, um, it's nice to see a slightly different approach as well, mm. you know, rather than mm. yeah, just capturing it kind of front on fountain, no, no out filter. Of the box, yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's a lovely shot. Yeah, yeah. really good. Thank yeah. you. Okay, next one, we're going into our top ten now. Yeah. So we're almost there. It's getting okay. serious. Yeah, it's very serious. So top ten. <laughs> serious stuff. <laughs> right. So this image. Number ten. It's. Yes. Well. Captured by Madison Milne Ives. Yes, and I I did recognise this image because it came from the photo walk we did in, in Oxford. Yeah. And mm -hmm. um, and seeing it again, I just thought it was really good. Yeah. And, um, yeah, definitely. And so it's simple, but it's not. And mm -hmm. so to have the thought process to uh, to take it and have the people stand in the right space and everything else, it mm -hmm. just worked work really well and it's a uh, yeah, really nice image. Yeah, exactly. Makes it's nice having stuff, it? having the eye to spot that moment, isn't it? And mm. kind of angling yourself mm. the right way to see it within the reflection. Madison's also one of our ambassadors oh, and right, she came yeah. on our photo walk. So yes. you're smashing the boxes, smashing. well <laughs> done. You're, all those boxes. Yeah, yeah, you're well doing done. it really well. Yeah. Yeah, well she was done. one of the winners on the photo walk, wasn't she? Overall, she was. The, the yeah, top yeah. five winners that we had. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. Try X is your film, it seems. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well done. Thank you. Right, number nine. Oh, uh, yeah. Was captured by Graham Davies. It's a beautiful portrait, isn't it? Really nice portrait. Things really good. The detail that mm. they've, you know, the film was held and been printed here is just really good. Mm. It's just got a nice look and feel. You can sort of, you can look yeah. into his eyes and, and get a measure of the man almost. But <laughs> and I like the fact that the film frame is round on the on the yeah, scan yeah. or print as well. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, I thought mm. it just was taken really well. Yeah, it's nice to see a studio shot as well, mm. just to yeah, show exactly. kind of you know the different capabilities that Triax has, and it's worked really well in that sense. Give a sort of traditional style portrait. Yeah. Black and white. Yeah, really good. Yeah, yeah, really good. Thank you. On to number eight. This one was taken by Ben Tatmar. Yeah. Um, yeah, lovely image. Um, I'm not exactly sure where it was taken. Um, but you kind of feel that it could have been taken yesterday or 70 years ago. Yeah. Um, it's got that real look and feel. It used to be an advert for a bread, a well-known bread <laughs> brand. Um, and it looks like it was taken from that time, really. Um, you can see someone yeah. going down there on a, on a bicycle. The, the detail, the contrast, the look and feel, it's got that oldie worldy look and feel. Mm -hmm. um, a great image. Yeah. That's the great thing about film, that, mm. you know, it's timeless, really. Yes, yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, it kind of stood out, it stood mm -hmm. out amongst the pack and the composition. Yeah, the lining yeah. composition is really good. And again, you've got the curve of the road and lots of detail. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a great, great image, shot. Yeah. Thank you. Right, on to number seven. Number seven, yeah. This one was captured by John Dragonette. Yes. See. And it's quite striking, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I would have had this guy down as an actor. Yeah. But I'm not sure. I know what you but mean. But <laughs> everything about it is is um, kind of wonderful. He's got his roll your own cigarette, yeah. the hair, and the, the, the contrast in the image, the detail in the yeah. image, the fact that the guy is cutting his hair is um, is, is well is in the frame as well, mm -hmm. yeah. um, and the, the smoke from the cigarette. So it's just got oodles of character, and it's really yeah, yeah really and good. Again, image. it's really quite yeah. like old school. You can imagine yeah. it like many years ago. And I think his smile makes a difference as well. Yeah. He just looks happy to be there and yeah. have his photo taken. He and does. Sort of, he's, he's owning it really. Isn't he? So, <laughs> he is yeah. the main. He's giving yeah. main character energy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a really, really good. Yeah. yeah, it's an awesome shot. Um, I think I shared this one in one of our reels on Instagram, and a few people commented on mm. it. So, yeah, it's definitely one of my favourites. Mm -hmm. that we've got so far, so yeah, 
Yeah. Well oh, so done. this was John's friend, I'm reading. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> extra information. It wasn't there. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't <laughs> a paid actor. <laughs> Sean McKinney, there we go. Yeah. Sean McKinney. Yeah. He looks good. <laughs> yeah. Number six. Number six. Mm. Was captured by Peter Elgar. Yeah. So it's a poster on a bus mm. driving past an alleyway, but it looks great. Yeah, <laughs> it's just the, the, the framing and the yeah, lighting. On the way that. the light has, has captured the poster yeah. on the bus, and it, that's probably what how the photo, original photo was taken, mm -hmm. which is on the bus. Um, so it's advertising the film Mary Stuart, who mm -hmm. was a French queen. Yeah. Um, at a very early age. Um, and that's an Irish actress whose name escapes me at the minute. But mm -hmm. anyway, the, the framing of the film is. is of the image is really good um, and yeah. it is, it's a moment in time that was just captured yeah, again, just at the right moment, moment. Yeah. yeah and then the bus could have been parked and you could have had all day to take it but probably not so <laughs> these people are sitting on the bus and I think you know in yeah. passing it, it, that obviously uh, appeared in front of Peter and um, yeah and well done it's really good yeah again yeah. like you've got the leading lines yeah leading to that main part of the image as well yeah, it's a really and, great. Yeah, show. there's something sort of um, slightly eerie but very distinct about yeah, it. So, I know what you mean. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's the darkness of it as yeah. well. Yeah, and you've got the light in the main focal point of the image. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. On to our top five now. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So, the countdown is on. Number five is taken by Andrew Clark. And Andrew actually popped up earlier on in the. Oh, list right. as well so this okay. is his yeah, second yeah. image excellent well yes. andrew um <laughs> yeah good uh so for me a well-known skyline from mm -hmm. city hall uh the shard at london bridge a, a great image and looking kind of moody and yeah. and old mm -hmm. but but still vibrant as well yeah um i think that's what you can get with triax it's that sort of look and feel the contrast the the high sort of highlights reflecting off the water and then the yeah. buildings and that sort of framing it um really nice image yeah it's one of those mm. ones that you can imagine framing having mm. in print having on your wall in your house yeah yeah it's really nice um i think this one was taken from the sky garden oh, okay which yeah, yeah, yeah. it's definitely sold it to me that i mm. want to go up there yeah. <laughs> and take some pictures i've not been i think it's for entry as well it so, is yeah, it just, is uh, yeah. yeah so yeah this is selling it it's a it's an incredible image mm. um take your camera with <laughs> absolutely <you. laughs> with yeah. some triax film inside <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, amazing. Thank you, Andrew. It's your second image. Um, yeah, it's Perfect. Passionate. Yeah, Thank really you. good. Cheers. Okay, okay, on to number four. This one was captured by Thomas Buckman. And great, great shot. Oh, cracking image. Really yeah. good. So, yeah, a live performance. Um, someone at a keyboard. And I think what makes it is the silhouette, but also the lighting yeah. around it. Mm -hmm. uh, there's great detail. And then uh, the, the main... Uh, artist is the silhouette of that person mm -hmm. and uh, the guitar handle as well yeah. everything it just looks really cool really good yeah it's beautiful yeah. lighting isn't it i love the little like specks as well that kind of yes adds yeah. to that as well and they usually come with like a slightly longer exposure but her hands are frozen in time they're not mm -hmm. moving so mm -hmm. she's obviously playing the keywords so it must have been a fairly quick exposure anyway yeah. so it's come out really well yeah. Um, well done yeah yeah it's a lovely shot Grand thomas yeah yeah well done thank you our number three is this shot, and it was captured by Hector Rivero, who yeah. was actually in our last competition. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So oh, yeah. Yeah. you're doing well, Hector. Mm. Well, I don't really need to say very much, do I? It's just beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> A picture it, speaks yeah, of it, it really does. So yeah. um, that is probably the cutest baby picture I've seen in a long time. And yeah. don't tell my next door neighbour I had a baby this week. <laughs> <laughs> but the grandparents maybe or the people holding the baby yeah. just just perfectly framed and the expression all their faces and the little baby just looking like wide awake and <laughs> pleased and surprised but you know yeah. in a lovely What's way that lens? <laughs> yeah and and the detail that it's held as well yeah. detail in the jumper and the, the, everybody's face and the hair and everything is just um and the background is out of focus mm -hmm. and that just allows you to look at the subject it just yeah. looks really great yeah. it's just like pure joy isn't yeah. It? yeah it's just a really happy beautiful image yeah yeah Awesome. Well Super. done, Hector. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Cheers. So our number two is this one. This was captured yeah. by Laurent Jacob. 
So yeah, I shuffled this one around and it ended up in second place. Yeah. So, and it's, I think it's a reflection shot and you can tell all the little parts. Yeah, it's quite things. different, isn't it? It's yeah. quite abstract. Uh, it's a huge amount of contrast. Um, it's got that old grainy sort of feel to it. Mm. Just all the extra bit of um, detail that's in there. I think from, from take, I think it's taken a reflection as yeah. a reflection. So uh, yeah, it's just a really effective image, I thought. So the snow was falling from the trees and the sun was shining. Yeah, yeah you so, can see it beautifully yeah. here. Yeah, it was there in that moment. Yeah, yeah and I agree, it just, it's come, just come out really well, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's a lovely shot. Mm. Yeah, amazing. Well done, Lauren, mm. thank you. So then, I'm mm. number one. Big drum roll. This yeah, is it. Go. Who's <laughs> it going to be? Da -da -da. It is this one, captured by Stephen Spark. Yeah. So, so yeah, why was this your number one? Well, homage to Keith Flint. Of course. Um, but a great bit of street art, mm. but the composition, not just walking up and taking a photo of the, the street art, but framing it, having other street art around it, yeah. having it through a passageway looking into it, which gives it extra depth, I think. It just, yeah, it looked really good. It looks really good in black and white. I'm sure it looked really good in color yeah, as well, but it it's got a certain mood to it. I really like Keith Flint as well yeah. from the project. <laughs> so um, yeah, great image, really good. Yeah, Fantastic. like you say, it's it's you know rather than just walking up to it and mm. just taking a shot of that, it's, mm. it's really good framing. And there's, there's a lot going on. It's just a lovely like urban urban scene. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure loads of people have photographed it. And, <laughs> but this is the one that we're looking yes, at today. So, exactly. And it's the way it's framed and everything else. And it's got yeah. it's got lighting above it. It just made me wonder if yeah, there was something does. else going on as well. Yeah, um, it's interesting. Yeah, and it looks like it's quite big as well. That's a, that's a person in the front and that. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's uh, it resonated. It looks great, and uh, yeah. it's our winner. It's yes, time. a worthy winner. Mm. Well done, Stephen. Thank you, Stephen. Thank yeah. you, Stephen. So that's our top twenty. Mm. There's our winners. Yeah. So what's next, Andy? Um, well. Yeah, we've we've been talking about it, and we look like we're going to have a competition this summer. Okay. As, yeah, so next will be. Oh. So okay, very very be a good early uh, <laughs> announcement. <laughs> um, to be confirmed, but I'm pretty sure we're going to go. <laughs> That's next on the agenda for us. I think. Amazing. Yeah. So we will be rewarding these people with some prizes. Um, yes. Everyone will yeah. receive their print that we've shown right now. Are you going to be giving them? So I will. Give it a couple of days and yeah. then I'll email the top three mm -hmm. and um, we will talk about prizes. So, yeah, yeah, that's really exciting. So, whatever they shoot, let's, um, let's have a look and see what we can give. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Thank you so much, everyone, for taking part. It was incredible, mm -hmm. high standards, such great variety. Again, a really hard one to choose. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was it was a really great competition. Um, I'm definitely sold on Triax. Mm. I hadn't shot it until recently, so I'll be choosing Triax from now on for black and white. Yeah. Taking part, and here's to the next one, which hopefully. Will no, absolutely. <laughs> All 750 images, very well received. Really yeah. good. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank Excellent. you, everyone. See you again soon. Take care. Bye. Bye.